Hi everyone, how are you doing? Oh, dusty, dusty, dusty. Um, I'm having one of those days, but hope all of you are having a better day than I am. I'm not going to go into it. Suffice to say, it's been a long one. But I had a few ideas that I wanted to work through and I figured I'd play around and I'd take you along for the ride with me. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well, as I said. If you are new to the group, hello. My name is Stephanie, otherwise known as Sora. And this is my little nail corner. Um, if you've been here before, thank you for returning. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available. And we're going to get right into this video. So I am going in with a semi-transparent black right now and I'm doing two coats. Uh, there's a trend that's been going around. It's actually remaking uh, the rounds. It's I think about three years ago or so. Uh, the bubble trend and that's where you take um, uh, soap bubbles and you lay it on the nail and cure it and then it leaves the impression of the bubbles on the nail. So I want to tackle that with a few different background colors and see how it comes out and then I also want to revisit the pool water challenge with a few different colors and ideas that I have, a few different textures, see how they come out. So I'm going to start off with the bubble challenge. Um, and if you don't like textured nails, like I don't, then you could always just do a clear topper, which I'm going to do. So you'll still have the effect of the bubbles, but you won't have the texture. And then we're going to go into the pool water challenge. Te um, not challenge, um, trend. Okay, so as I said, I'm starting with a black background. I chose a semi-transparent black just because I usually have trouble with my opaque black curing properly and I didn't want to deal with any issues of um, rippling or buckling of the gel. But the first one I'm going to do is a cat eye background and this is Blueberry Twister by Eye Gel. I don't generally use my cat eye gels too much um, I don't know why. I guess maybe I just can't achieve the effects that everybody um, is able to achieve. But you do want to start with a, um, a flat color background just so that the color pops. If you have a dark color, you want to go with a dark background. If you have a light color, you want to go with a light background. Uh, generally speaking, you know, no rules are hard and fast in this nail game. But you do want to put on a nice uh, layer and then you want to create the pattern of choice. I think I'm just going to go and push the particles towards the center of the nail. I'm just going to bring it around all sides so that I get that halo effect or an aura effect. And then I'm going to cure it right quick so that it stays that way. So while that's going, I'm going to get my bubbles ready. This is a bowl of water and dish soap. You cannot see it as it's somewhat dissolved. I was going to use my whisk, but it is rather large and I don't want water going all over the place. Hopefully this won't knock it all over the place, but it's a milk frother and I'm just going to fully submerge it and get those bubbles going. Okay, let's get another paper towel. These are quite frothy bubbles. I don't know how these are going to work, but we will see. Uh, the thing I just realized is I don't have an implement to pick up said bubbles. I didn't bring a spoon in here with me. What can I use? Hold that thought. 
All right, for lack of wanting to get up, I just pulled one of my cuticle sticks. Actually, this is a very nice color. I might have to use it soon. Um, but I kind of want these to dissipate a little bit because I think they're a little too foamy. Let's see if we can knock it down a bit and get some larger bubbles. We'll see, I'll play around with this, see if it works. If not, I will do a fresh one, probably with the whisk instead of the frother, because it did indeed froth it quite a bit. The answer is in the name. But I'm gonna take my gel base. Actually, I'm gonna take my gel top coat. No, I'll do my base, because I'm gonna do a top coat over it. And I want that tacky layer. If you were just going to finish off with the bubbles, you would do a no wipe top coat. That way you don't have to worry about uh, topping it afterwards. So I'm going to lay the bubbles on top. I'm not touching the, um, the nail with anything but the bubbles. All right, so now I'm going to take a no wipe, sorry, a lint-free wipe. All right, well, that's interesting. I don't know if it's because I used a base coat or because it was too frothy, but I did get quite a bit of texture on there. The, I guess the gel coming up around the bubbles. So I am going to consider this a fail and try again. Try, try, try again. All right, back again. Um, we are going to switch out the stand. I've got my cat eye nail. I've got my non frothy foam or bubbles rather, and I'm going to use a no wipe top coat this time, see if that makes a difference. I actually got a better cat eye out of this one. So we're gonna go from there, yeah. Do a layer of your no wipe top coat of choice. I am using Madame Glam. If you would like to receive 35% off on all Madame Glam products, please click the link in my description box. It will automatically populate the code into your shopping cart. Just make sure that you choose pay as you go or you will automatically be signed up as a VIP member, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You get 50% off of all products, but it is a $29.99 a month charge. So if you don't want to, click pay as you go and you will get your 35% off. That is your PSA announcement for today. I am now putting my aerated bubbles on the top. And now I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe the residual water off the top and that is what it's supposed to look like. So if you like the rough texture, this is um, English words. If you like the rough texture, this is good to go. There's nothing else you need to do. If you don't like the rough texture, then you can always go and top coat over it and then you won't have that rough texture. I was also thinking, and I've seen it done, you could also chrome the surface. Um, I really like the cat eye effect, so I don't know if I want to chrome it. Maybe I will do another nail like this and then chrome it, and we'll see the difference between the two. But right now, I am going to do a base coat and a top coat on top of it so that we can see it as it um, would be finished off as a smooth nail. So I'm just going to lay down a nice cover and actually that's getting rid of 
a lot of the can't really see anything that's going on there. Okay, so I take back what I said. You can't really top coat over it because then you, you lose the design. Let's think on that. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start working on the next nail. So for the next nail, I want to do some effects. Now I've already got a base coat on here. I'm going to take a cupcake liner. Do I have a cupcake liner? No, I don't, okay. So I'm just going to take this in the lid. These are foils named Me uh, Venus, Venus, foils named Venus. Foils named Venus from Madame Gla um, Magpie Beauty. Wow. I am going to take a fluffy brush and I am going to tap them onto the nail and they're going to kind of merge together and break apart and create this great chameleon type surface. They do, however, fly all over the place. All right. So that's already cured because I just put it on top of the tacky layer. So I'm going to do another base coat and then the top coat, and then we're going to go in with more bowls. So make sure when you're, whenever you're polishing over something that has fresh product on it, you wipe your brush before it goes back into the bottle or else you're going to contaminate your liquids. And we don't want to do that. So that's going to go in there for a quick cure and I'm going to wipe my brush on the lint-free wipe and back into the bottle. So I've got my no wipe top coat all the way on the nail. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out because the surface is somewhat transparent or I should say the color is somewhat transparent. So may not pick up the bubbles all too well. Obviously you'll still have the texture, but you may not see the depth too well but we'll see. This is all an experimentation day. Just wanna make sure I get bubbles all over the nail. All right, so let's wipe away the moisture and see. You can probably see it a little bit better up front, or up front in person but I do love the way that looks. And right now this clouded portion back here is the gummy tack that's on top of uh, behind the nail. So let's see. Yeah, so it's this really great, kind of like a lizard, lizard skin, if you can see. So that came out pretty cool. The next one I'm going to do, as I set this aside, is um, a sugared nail. Now obviously a sugared nail already has its own texture, but it's got the sparkle of the glitter to carry it through. So let's see how that comes out. This is all about just seeing what kind of effects we can have, you know, take an idea and run with it. So I'm gonna start out with this beautiful turquoise color. Get a pretty thin, even layer. And you can see that the color's pretty opaque just in one coat. And then we're going to go in and we'll rub the, um, sh the glitter into the tacky layer. Now glitter I'm going to be using is by Magpie Beauty as well as the Chameleon Flakes and it's called Alice. 
So I'm going to take Alice and I'm going to pour her over the nail, kind of like you would dip powder. And then you can use a fluffy brush and kind of brush it away, or you can use your finger and just rub it softly into the nail. And that's going to take off all of the extra layers and just leave the thinnest of layers of glitter over the surface. And you can see it's already kind of getting this hollow effect to it. Don't worry about this little piece of plastic at the end. I'm going to file it off when we're all done. All right, and you could always just put a little bit more on top, rub that in. Now you can certainly go in and do two layers to get the most opacity from it. If you look really close, you can see little bare spots, but I don't think it's going to matter for our purposes. I'm gonna set this aside, dust myself off, do a top coat, and we'll go in with the bubbles. It's raining sparkles. Now I'm just going to glide the gel over the surface of the nail. I'm not gonna drag the brush up and down. And then once again, you wanna make sure you wipe off the brush before it goes back into the bottle. Grab our bubbles, which are quickly dissipating. And then go in for the cure. Wiping the bubbles away. And once again, we've got our bubbled surface with a hair attached. Lovely. Remembrances of my cat, Zora. Now, I am, I do have quite a few rough edges on these last two nails. So I'm just going to lightly buff it. I don't want to take down the profile at all, but I do want to get rid of some of those hard edges. So I'm going to do one more, I think, maybe a little rainbow marble inspired nail, maybe. I'm going to get another nail, figure out how I'm going to lay in the rainbow. All right, so I'm going to take my gel liners from Dipalicious and I'm just going to bleed them across the nail in rainbow fashion. Woo! As I destroy my um, my nail setup. Now here's the question, should I marble these together or leave it as is? Hmm, questions, questions, questions. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna give that a cure. I'm gonna do a 90 second cure because the layers are a little thick. And then I'm going to go in with a base coat just to even out the layers and then top coat and bubbles. I did froth up the bubbles a little since they were starting to get a little bit flat and we'll see how things go from there. All right, going in with our top coat. While that's curing, I'm going to start on the last nail because I decided I do want to chrome. Um, I've got a base coat on. I think I'm going to go in with an antique white. This is Millennium. I'm not really sure which chrome I want to use, but we do need to start with a base color. I need a new lint-free wipe. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles away. So far I'm thinking the most successful nail was the first one just because I got some really big bubbles mixed in with some smaller ones. Uh, but I'm gonna continue on with the chrome one and I think maybe I'm going to do primrose because it has this really nice red shift to it and it might pop very well. So I'm going to let this finish curing and then I'm going to go in with a no wipe top coat because you need to chrome off of a no wipe top coat. So we're going to take that and we're going to cure for 20 seconds before we rub in. Um, I said I was going to go with Primrose, didn't I? Or Pan did I say Primrose? Pandora? Something with a P, yet I pulled Ruth. So let's go back and get Pandora because that's the one that I wanted. All right, so you've got your partially cured nail. You've got your chrome powder. I'm going to put some on my finger. I'm going to rub it into the surface. Ooh, get back on there. Put a little bit more just to get real co good coverage. I'm going to finish the cure and then I'm going to go um, in with another layer of top coat and I'm actually thinking about doing a base coat first and then another top coat just so that it has something to grip onto. I'm going to do the base coat now and I'm going to make sure not to drag the brush over the surface. You wanna just float the gel so that you don't pull the color off. Mm, I think that's fine. And I'm gonna cure it, top coat, bubble, and then we'll be done with the bubbles. All right, so I thought I had recorded my outro. It was a very quippy, wonderful, the best outro I've ever done. Uh, but apparently it didn't record. And I've since done a new manicure since this outro that never was. Uh, but you will see that one soon. For now, I'm just going to finish the outro of this video. Um, I don't remember all exactly what I said, but you will remember that I did. It just started pouring out. Um, yeah. So that's the background noise that you may be hearing now. Um, but I did do a rainbow nail that I didn't really like, so I picked it up and threw it out, and I don't have it anymore. So the video, um, sorry, the picture obviously does not have that nail in it, but these are the nails that I did like and have finished. And I think this one is my favorite one just because of the uh, differentiation between the different size bubbles. 
I do absolutely love these two nails. I really have to come up with a manicure that uses these chameleon flakes. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. All the information for the products I used will be in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.